Man, so what exactly happened? Because I'm a little confused on the whole thing. Look, long story short, man, she came over to the house hollering, grabbing, complaining like usual, and then she just, she just hit me wrong with it, man. She, she walked up to me and said, all you do is sit there and lie. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Let me tell you right now, I can also stand up and lie. You just ain't ever got that much energy out of me because I don't care about you. Well, you know, that sent her on a rampage there. I mean, I could see why, man. Ain't y'all been together for like six months? I mean, what'd she do? Well, she started talking about, I hadn't felt a spark between us this whole time. I looked her straight in her eyes and said, honey, I'm not an Autobot. This ain't no Decepticon right here. I don't need no spark to get me going. All right, do I look like a fucking set of double-A batteries short? No. Oh, uh, that, whoo, boy, that's when she rushed me. And you know, I, I won't hit a woman. I do not hit women. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Ne never hit a woman. So I tased her. I let her have every vote that motherfucker had, okay? It was fully charged. Motherfucker was dead when I let go of it, okay? That bitch felt a spark between us like she never has. She might never feel a spark like that again in her fucking life. But I didn't hit her. Damn, I mean, you know, I guess sometimes it's just not meant to be. Maybe the next one, you know, maybe y'all will get along a little better. Uh, what do you mean the next one? Um, I mean, you know, the next person you date, I mean, you, you and her obviously aren't together anymore, right? Yeah, we're still together, man. I mean, shit, I guess I gave her a little jump start. Something started clicking right. I mean, she got right up. I mean, after she got done twitching for about 10 minutes, she got right up. Said, you know what? You go to your friend's house, have a couple of beers. When you get back home, I'm gonna have you supper made and a cold beer sitting right there. So, you know, I'm, that's why I'm here now. That's why I came over. Okay. Okay, look, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you the number for poison control so that if you get home and your house is still there and it hasn't been burnt to the ground and you make it inside and you eat, you can give them a call if you start feeling funny. Okay, and just, just, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Sleep in a separate room tonight and maybe lock the door, okay? Man, what? What are you talking about poison control? Hey, you're overreacting, okay? Hey, you know, whatever. Maybe I am. Maybe I am overreacting. As long as I'm still your beneficiary on your will, I will plan your funeral beautifully. Okay? Matter of fact, have seconds tonight when she cooks because you're so confident. I'll be waiting for the call in the morning.